Now we're going to be talking about the concept of isotonic, isometric, and isolytic techniques. And to do this, I'm going to be using the patient's arm. Uh, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to say, can I have you contract your bicep muscle, so flex their arm, uh, at a constant tension. So can you give me a contraction and sustain that contraction without changing the tension? And what I'll be doing is I'll be showing you an isotonic technique first. So for an isotonic technique, I'm going to ask the patient, first I'm going to stabilize, and I'm going to say, can I have you uh, please flex your bicep? Now I'm going to be offering resistance, but his, re or his force of contraction is going to be slightly more than my resistance. So uh, as a result, his muscle, his bicep muscle, is going to approximate the origin and insertion. So again, demonstrate, I'm going to stabilize and say, can I have you contract for me, please? I'm going to be offering resistance. I'm going to be pulling that way and he's going to be contracting this way, he's going to overcome my resistance. And this is going to be primarily to strengthen muscles. Isotonic techniques are what you're going to be demonstrating at a gym. It's where you're going to be uh, having a constant tension, and you're going to be approximating the muscle origin and insertion. As such, isotonic techniques tone the muscle or make your muscle stronger. Next, we're going to be talking about an isometric technique. Uh, I like to think of this as uh, the patient trying, so me trying to pull, to contract, but as he contracts his bicep, I'm going to be offering equal resistance in the opposite direction of his muscle. So go ahead and contract your bicep, but I'm going to be maintaining equal and opposite traction to his arm. So his origin and insertion of his bicep are not going to change. His tension is still there, however, the origin and insertion don't, do not approximate, they're just going to remain even because I'm pulling equally opposite in the other direction. So this is isometric technique. He's trying, he's, me is trying to contract, but I'm not letting him. And then the last technique we're going to be covering is going to be isolytic technique. For isolytic technique, what we're going to be doing is I'm going to have him contract his muscle and I'm going to be pulling in the opposite direction like always. Except this time, as he contracts, I'm going to be pulling more than he is contracting. So as he's contracting this way, I'm offering a greater resistance, and I am lengthening his origin insertion. And this is primarily used to break up fibrotic tissue. So if he has a fibrotic tissue buildup, uh, I'm going to ask him, him to contract one last time. I'm going to overcome this contraction, and I'm going to break up some of that fibrotic tissue. That's isolytic technique. Lytic meaning the breakdown. So that's isolytic.